What's up, sons? It's Blind on What's up, Attack once again, and today I'm going to show you guys how to mine with your CPU using SMOS, aka Simple Mining OS, so stick around. Welcome back. So there's a misconception that you can't mine with your CPU on SMOS. While this is true that you can't actually configure it through the web GUI, it's completely possible to mine with the CPU that's installed on your system with SMOS. And the way we're going to do this is essentially by starting a PuTTY session or an SSH session to get into our miner, which is already just based off of Ubuntu. And then we're going to go ahead and install the CPU miner that way. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head on over to simplemining.net and get into the web GUI. Go ahead and click rig list and once it pops up you should have a list of all of your rigs. Find the one that you want to mine with the CPU on and hover over the name. Down here you'll find the local IP address and for example mine's 10.210.210.14 and we're just going to need this to go ahead and start the session. The next thing you're going to need is PuTTY. You can download PuTTY with the link in the description below and go ahead and ignore all of my YouTube comment notifications. So you'll just download this and then run it and you will be able to install it and I already have it installed so we're going to open it up and to connect to our session we're just going to copy and paste the IP address that I showed you guys how to get from simplemining.net. You're going to click open and you will be able to log in. The default login is miner and miner. So I recommend changing the password. We can go over that in another video when we talk about configuring SSH, etc., uh, or configuring all of Ubuntu for SMOS to make sure you are a little bit more secure than say you would be if you left the default username and password here. Now, so once we've done that, all we really got to do is install everything we need to run XMR stack CPU miner. This is pretty basic and I'll leave all of the commands in the description for you to copy and paste into your putty session as well as link to a blog post that might be a little bit easier for you guys to copy and paste from. We will have to update everything and we will need to install CMake which a lot of these guys uh, in their how to's do not tell you how to do and the reason we need to do that is that it is just purely required for these particular builds and we can do that real quick with a, it should be a sudo app get install cmake and it's already installed over here I just wanted to let you guys know that you will need to go ahead and install that before continuing at this point we're going to be able to change directory I will make sure that that's in all the lists down below for you as well I have to use this sudo command here, so I'll make a note of that as well for you guys because that's what it's going to require us to use. So at this point, we should have all of our files that we need. If you run an ls command, you can see all of the files there. Now we're just going to run a cmake. Once again, sudo cmake. And then, then all we have to do there is do the sudo make install. And at this point, we're going to change directory once again. And we're going to modify the permissions on XMR stack. And then we are going to run XMR stack CPU. The first run is going to give us a CPU threads configuration file. So we'll just go ahead and copy this. And then we want to run an ls command and find the config.txt and run nano config.txt. And we are going to paste the CPU thread config in actually down here. I'll show you guys. Right here, this is just an example telling you how, how to place it in here, but we're just going to come here. To paste, all you have to do is right click. And then the next things we need to change is going to be our wallet address, pool address, and pool password. 
I'm just going to paste my pool address in. And for the pool password in this example, I'm just going to use X because the pool doesn't require a password. To exit and save, we're going to do Control X and type Y and press Enter. Alrighty, so now to start the miner after you have configured your config file, of course, all you have to do is run the miner once again and do the dot forward slash XMR stack CPU and the miner will begin to run. To cancel this, you will just go ahead and do a control C and that will stop the miner from running. Now, if we want this to run, if the miner reboots, we're going to have to do a couple more steps here, which shouldn't take us too long. We're going to go ahead and edit the XMR service file, so or create one essentially with the nano command. And once we are in here, we are going to paste this text and then do a control X. And then we are going to run the sudo system uh, da, 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 daemon reload. And these will be in the description below, of course. And then once we've done that, we can now start the service and stop the service with a system call here. And once we've done that, if we want to make sure it's running, we can run a top command and take a look at the CPU usage. And you can see here that the command is XMR stack. CPU and the CPU usage is uh, a lot so yeah <laughs> we know it's working guys we know it's working so I'm gonna go ahead and do a control C to get out of my top which is basically just like a performance monitor and I'm gonna go ahead and stop this because I don't really want to be doing that with my CPU aka a G4400 Alrighty, so that's going to wrap up how to mine with your CPU on Simple Mining OS, aka SMOS. I realize that you might have some questions. I'm going to point you towards our Discord if you do have any, as the comment section gets a little hectic sometimes, especially on these how-to videos. So head on over there. There will be a link in the description below. Please try to utilize all of the links that you possibly can. If you are new to Linux, I definitely recommend heading on over to Code Academy and doing their command line how-to or command line series. It's free and it's a great tool. And if you're going to keep mining and working in this space, it's definitely something that you should check out. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked. Hope you subscribed. Hope you comment down below and I will see you next Tuesday.